Hey, what's up guys? This is Tariq from SmartBikeTrainers.com. Uh, Trainer Road and Zwift. No doubt these are the two biggest uh, indoor cycling applications that we have right now. Many athletes like to use both. Uh, they want to take advantage of the cycling plan that Trainer Road offers and at the same time they want to be able to uh, use Zwift. They like the scenery in Zwift, they like to collect po uh, points or they just, they're just they going after that Tron bike. Uh, now if both companies can merge somehow Maybe, maybe that would have been a better purchase than Milestone, but let's not get to that. I did write a blog post a while ago on how to do that, and I'll link to it up here in, the, in this link. But since then, many people are jumping on the uh, Zwift and Apple TV bandwagon, and they want to be able to run both, uh, to run Trainer Road on their mobile device, such as an iPhone or an iPad, and run Zwift on Apple TV. Uh, since both use Bluetooth connection, that kind of presents a challenge because Bluetooth is one-to-one -one connection and once you connect your smart trainer, for example, to your iPhone, uh, Apple TV is not gonna be able to connect to your smart trainer. There are two ways to do that. Uh, one way is by using the ANT Plus key. Uh, this is a Wahoo ANT Plus key that you can purchase from Wahoo and you need to uh, also add an adapter to that to be able to connect it to uh, your iPhone. And I'll link to these products, uh, all the products that I talk about in the description uh, below in this video. So the ANT key will allow your iPhone to uh, connect to an ANT Plus uh, device. So you can connect your smart trainer, a uh, heart rate monitor, a cadence sensor, and all of that. And the other method is by using an ANT Plus to Bluetooth bridge. Uh, the cable, uh, this little uh, key will do that. Uh, also the 4i, this is a heart rate monitor that also does the same thing. And in this video, I'll walk you through how to use a cable device uh, and configure it to connect to your smart trainer via ANT Plus and broadcast that signal in Bluetooth and uh, run Trainer Road on your iPhone and uh, Zwift on uh, your Apple TV. So let's get to that. All right, so we're gonna pair the cable first to the uh, cable config app. And uh, should pair, here we go. And next we're gonna just search for the devices and to do that just click on the uh, cable icon and do a scan anti sensors so it found the uh, kicker under bike power so we want to check that and also I'm gonna pair my uh, heart rate monitor so I'm just gonna turn this on and it found it so I'm just gonna check that one I'm just gonna save this now and if you have a, a speed and cadence sensor you can do that as well All right, uh, next you need to do, to go to the ANT plus to BLE assignments. And the one we wanna do is a power and heart rate. And you can do a speed and cadence sensor as well. And click on the uh, cable icon to save. And that's it, you should be, uh, just click on it and make sure you disconnect. And now just go, we're gonna go to, to the, you gonna open train road app. And now you see I have my ticker fit and Wahoo kicker all paired to the trainer road app and I'm gonna go to Zwift now and pair my cable device. So this is a Zwift uh, pair devices screen. Click on power source and select cable. And we're gonna do the same thing for heart rate and cadence. And you wanna leave the controllable trainer unpaired because a trainer road uh, will control your trainer in erg mode. And this is it, now you can start your workout and have fun.